five, four, three, two, one. We're live, guys. This is the Satoshi Show, and this is a blockchain sports and limitless presentation. We're going to start with a little bit of a video here. Let me share my screen while everyone's coming in, and they're rolling in already. Okay, sure sound. And the stereo. Welcome to Brazil, the largest country in South America, the country of contrasts, grand carnivals, and for sure, fantastic football. It is said that football flows in the blood of every Brazilian, and the heart of world football stops when a new Brazilian junior plays. The story of blockchain sports ecosystem began in January 2023 in the small town of Acopiara, State Sierra with its unique culture and color. That is the place where things started to happen. The things that are destined to change the future of world sport forever. Today in Acopiara, in the area of 42 hectares, you can find the construction of one of the most modern and technologically advanced football academies in the world, the Blockchain Sports Ecosystem Academy. An international team of architects, designers, and builders are working to create the best conditions for young players to live and train. The futuristic sports complex includes educational institutions, football fields, foot volley playing area, stadium, medical center, Olympic-sized swimming pool, gym, and even restaurant complex with helipads. This is Dmitry Saxonov, the founder and leader of the Blockchain Sports Project. It was he who launched the project and is actively involved in its development. Dmitry always emphasizes that Blockchain Sports ecosystem is a project with a global social mission. to give a chance to children from all over the world. How can young footballers become a part of the global blockchain sports ecosystem? It is enough to pass the selection and sign a contract with the company. Selection is a part of the Tempo de Football social program, organized by the scouting agency Triumph, led by Davi Freire, Tobias Guilherme, Andre Vasconcelos, supported by the Ministry of Sports of Sierra, which has allocated more than 500 football fields throughout the state. Each young participant undergoes a comprehensive training program under the gentle and professional guidance. Professional scouts work with students of the academy. Matula Mindaugas, Severino Lima de Mura, coaches with real experience of current athletes Jonatas Domingos, Leandro da Silva, Antonio Ferreira de Oliveira Jr., Ser Pereira Barbosa, Antonio Marcos Salles Ferreira, Victor Hugo Alves Guilherme, Alcides da Silva Araujo. In addition to that, there are teachers, psychologists, nutritionists, and others. Much time has passed since the students of the academy started the trainings, but they have already shown good results by taking prizes and football championships. Entering the academy is only the beginning of a long and difficult journey into the world of big football. High demands are placed on the students. To become the best, you need to work hard and be tough on yourself. Every day, juniors prove not only to coaches, but to themselves, that they can be better, faster, and stronger than yesterday. Those who, at some point, allow themselves to slow down are to leave the academy. 
The top players of the Academy will be digitized in a form of digital ID. How is it done? There are trackers installed on the player to collect data of his physical performance to analyze the progress. Blockchain Sports uses computer vision and camera AI to make the analyze. AI cameras installed on the field capture each player's performance in real time with all unique data stored on the blockchain. Players' digital IDs are placed on the platform where they are presented with detailed information, including metric data, statistics, their achievements, and career progression. Football fans can both monitor the progress of their favorite athletes and buy the share of the player's digital ID. As a result, the fans become co-owners and partners of blockchain sports ecosystem, and they have the opportunity to earn a share of the income if the player's football career is successful. Blockchain Sports Ecosystem is a project that has high social value. One of its key aspects is the development of sport technology, attraction of investments, and region infrastructure development. The project got the support from the municipality of Acopiara Ana Patricia de Lima Barbosa, the first league football clubs, the president of the Football Federation Mauro Carbelio, the Minister of Sports Igor Borges Pino, football legend and also Senator of Sports in Brazil, Romario de Souza Faria, Governor of Sierra, Elmano de Freitas, Minister of Education, Camilo Sobrero de Santana. World football stars such as Romario, Zico, Kurani, Julie and Mateus have already expressed their desire to take an active part in the development of the blockchain sports project. A documentary series is currently being filmed. On the way to the dream. The stories about young football players. Reality show with legends of world football. Big game. A new format of competitive football is developing where real and virtual worlds collide. The blockchain sports team, in partnership with the famous footballer Kevin Kuranyi, are launching a large-scale media campaign in the Middle East and are signing exclusive contracts with other football legends. Filming for a podcast show is already underway, in which famous footballers not only talk about their stellar careers, but also share their vision of the ideal football academy based on their experience and expertise. This valuable information will be carefully processed using AI technologies and presented in the form of the ideal academy formula. With the support of legendary footballers, blockchain sports football academies will be opened all over the world. The country where the main academy will be built, based on the results of the derived formula, is currently a topic of discussion. If you want to become part of the ideal blockchain sports football academy, and thus part of a new football reality, join the project. We are already joined by legends of world football. Our possibilities, like our influence in the football world, are rapidly growing. Everyone who cares about football is joining blockchain sports right now. We have opened a new era so that you can enter it with us. Every move creates a story. Wow, wow, wow. Hmm. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us tonight. You're just going to hear some stuff that is just explosive. Uh, if you haven't noticed that uh, the new internet, which is called Web3, is all about blockchain AI technology. So that's in an emerging industry of its own, right? Blockchain doesn't die and it never lies. Also, sports. I mean, sports just keeps on growing and growing, and it'll never die. So with all that, let me get the first part of this together, and then I'll bring my partner up, and then we will get started. Uh, any rebroadcast, retransmission, or social media postings, website postings without the express written consent of the Satoshi Show is prohibited. The information we share is for educational purposes only and is not an investment or financial advice. The Satoshi Show is a private consultant research and educational firm we evaluate past reward opportunities and specialize in helping our audience with marketing strategies and goals to develop multiple streams of passive rewards. 
Uh, we discuss passive and active programs that can be used to leverage your rewards into five, six, even seven figures while you're working from home. While we strive to be entertaining, uh, we've done our homework. My name is David Chandler and my partner is Troy Rader. Troy is a great communicator, a great partner, and a great marketer and have built teams in the thousands. And today what he's going to share with you, along with uh, some of the top panelists here, is something that's going to blow your mind. So without further ado, my partner, Troy Rader, a trusted crypto Satoshi buddy. Right on. And David's no slouch either. He's been at the very top of half a dozen household name brand network marketing and direct sales companies. He's also owned his own brick and mortar business with uh, 60 employees. He built it from scratch. He likes this better. Um, guys, welcome to the Satoshi Show. What we're going to show you is uh, something that's very disruptive to the existing model of sports. Uh, blockchain sports, the reason it's disruptive up until now, athletes have been owned by clubs uh, that are owned by a few wealthy elite. And so who stands to gain? You know, the fans pay uh, for their tickets to go and watch various sporting events. But the fans don't get anything out of it. Now we can take all that wealth that's going to the owners of these clubs and uh, decentralize the model so that it's going to the fans. And people all over the world are addicted to sports. So this isn't going away anytime soon. Guys, this is exciting. And uh, when, when you recognize an opportunity early and you take massive action, that's, that's where these... You know, massive paychecks are built. Massive wealth is created from recognizing it. It's called a first mover advantage. So you, you watch that video. That was only one part of this, the blockchain sports brick and mortar business. The blockchain behind it is where the real, uh, real value lies, in my opinion. So the public launch is September 1st. You don't have much time. If you want to take massive action, then uh, you, you got to start today. So who is Limitless? Originating in 2021, actually January of 2021, the whole year, we, we actually got involved on the pre-launch list in uh, December of 2020. Uh, so it's been around a while. It's been growing from there to over 240,000 members, achieved over 660 millions in crowdfund contributions for their last project. That's never been done in the history of crowdfunding. 660 million raised for a financial project. They achieved the goal of a casualty-free model where every member wins, even if they never refer a single person. That's huge, guys. Everyone won, and they're still winning, and they could be winning for life because uh, as the first project goes public right now, you know, uh, their, their funds continue to grow. It's huge. So that crowdfund's done. The next crowdfund is Blockchain Sports. And uh, from now through August 16th, 2024, you can participate and you can grow a paycheck that'll blow the top of your head off. So Blockchain Sports, Limitless Partner. Who is Blockchain Sports? Blockchain Sports is a Web3 ecosystem bringing breakthrough technology and the global sports industry beginning with football the project is 18 months in development with 30 million. It's already got 30 million in private investments, built a proprietary multi-layer blockchain at Lita and a first-class football academy in Brazil. They've acquired multiple tech companies and football clubs, partnered with top sports organizations and have over 300 Web3 expert developers working currently. 300, guys. This isn't some little project like we've seen in the past that, you know, is a flash in the pan and disappeared. So who is Dmitry Saxonov? 
He's the founder of one of the first fractionalized mining apps in the world. He's an eight-year veteran of the Web3 industry. He founded a revolutionary app for mining and uh, has been known to make the complexity of Web3 simple. He had the vision for blockchain sports and did what most people believed was impossible. He has now become a household name among the football footballers around the world. So football... If you're in the U.S. listening to this, it's not our football. We call it soccer. Everyone else in the world calls it football. So, you know, I'm just going with the flow. When you hear me call it football, you know I'm talking about soccer. I, unless you're tuned in from somewhere offshore in another country, then then you know football's football. So the six categories where tech meets IRL, this is very important. The NFT marketplace includes fans sponsoring young athletes and our breakthrough scouting platform. The blockchain sports academies and clubs allow fan-sponsored players to have their chance at going pro, including club partnerships worldwide. In partnership with Inner Athlete, our breakthrough health technologies and sports science is literally changing the game. Now, Tomorrow morning, bright and early, we've we've got a doctor on the AML call, and this doctor is going to go through it, and this guy is bright. The NFL tried to get him in his technology, and he saved it for this decentralized model. Okay, our technology, research and development teams, and family of companies have innovated a new era of virtual reality, AI, platform interaction, gaming, and more. And entertainment is what sports is all about. And we are building the best gaming, reality TV, live events, fantasy leagues, and an open platform for developers. Now, that's a lot of information. You may have to rewind if you're looking at the uh, recording of this. But what I want to say <clears throat> is this company has an international copyright already. International copyright. Now you can look this up and you can see the the tons of uh, deposited work, but this covers everything. So we don't have to worry about another company coming in and doing what blockchain sports is doing and undercutting it or messing with it because this is a real certificate of copyright. It's an international certificate of copyright. Uh, member countries of the Berne Convention right here, United Kingdom, United States, Russian Federation, Kazakhstan, Spain, France. Guys, this, this will hold water. You know, it, it's got legal precedents. Now, not only do we have the uh, international copyright, We've got a, a valuation, a certificate of valuation. This company's intellectual property, digital property, uh, the plan is, is valued right now out of the gate before it's even a running model. It's valued at a billion dollars, over a billion dollars here, guys. This is real valuation. Okay, so what blockchain sports... We've got decentralized funding for clubs, providing football clubs and academies with access to capital for nurturing young talent through a decentralized model, democratizing the sports financial aspects and ensuring talented athletes receive the support they need. EVM compatible multi-layer blockchain and Web3 platform at Lita is a layer zero and layer one blockchain designed to be the data and transmission hub where sports and technology align both on and off the field powered by the Atla coin. Career advancement for athletes, digitizing young athletes enables fans of young athletes via smart contracts, NFTs, and an interactive marketplace allowing young players to accelerate their training and careers, including placement into clubs. Blockchain Sports Football Franchises, state-of-the-art football academy in Brazil, partnered with clubs, players, and coaches around the world, and our own blockchain sports clubs in every continent, all using BCS technologies for a new era of scouting and players' performance. 
So the Satellite of Blockchain mainnet goes live September 1st, uh, actually before September 1st. Uh, the Layer 1 blockchain goes live with its first project, the Fan to Athlete Sponsorship Model through NFTs. Now, th this is going live to the public is what it's talking about. We're getting our founders packs before this happens. So the nodes begin to operate with transactions on the blockchain. Uh, so first, the Atleta blockchain mainnet's launched, then the nodes go live. The founders nodes begin to earn daily rewards from the transactions on the blockchain. The activity level and rewards will organically increase over time as blockchain sports launches more and more projects. And we're gonna tell you a story about someone else who got a node uh, in just a little bit. So Atla token is listed, will be listed on major exchanges, that's three. 100% of all token rewards from the nodes work on the blockchain are available in real time. So when you're getting rewarded from a node, it's in real time. It's not, you know, wait a month for your paycheck. And 5% of all minted tokens are available after six months of minting. And founding member integration and ecosystem growth. The inaugural project goes live to player sponsorship and NFT marketplace which includes BCS academies and clubs. This is the heart of the project launch and allows fans to back players, allowing players to live at the best in the world academy and be taken pro. Now, as all this happens on the blockchain, the node holders are getting paid for it. And we'll talk about how that works in a second. So founding members benefits, we share in the success of the entire roadmap Enjoy lifetime. Guys, when was the last time you got paid lifetime through a network marketed company? Never, because the companies either change their products, cheapen them up, go out of business, kick you out, change the comp plan, sell out, get closed down, go bankrupt. You know, this is not like that. This is a huge professional worldwide endeavor you're acting like a venture capitalist here, but it's being decentralized. So you don't need to come in with a million. You can split it up with several of your buddies and, and your combined team total is, is, is a million dollars instead of you having to come up with a million out of your own pocket to get into something like this. So you enjoy lifetime royalties and participate in the Atleta blockchain. And that's a daily blockchain rewards. Uh, the royalties are quarterly. So you can be part of this disruptive community. Like I said in the beginning, up until now, a few wealthy elite individuals were owners of clubs and received all the benefits. It was the players and the owners got the benefits. The fans, all they did was paid for it. Now the fans can be involved with their favorite athletes and, and get a portion of it, not just the club owners. And we think... This is going to catch on this idea. You know, it's an idea in the minds of men, and it can spread like wildfire. So the goal is 500,000 founders promoting blockchain sports, and we want to do it by August 16th. We've already got about 240,000 that have access to this because they were in the last company. Uh, whether they come forward and, and uh, get involved in this or not, it's hard to say, but they're, they're, it's in front of them and some of them are taking advantage. So Founders Packs benefits, dual advantage, ownership of founder nodes and status as a brand partner. So founder nodes are responsible for minting the Atla coin and validating transactions and storing data. And, and you get paid on all of that. That's where the daily rewards come in. Now, the brand partner perks access the project categories, media library, and royalties for promotions of their athletes. Those are quarterly royalties. So the Atla coin. <clears throat> you, you've got to own founders nodes that meant the Atla coin. Now, I suppose you can buy the coin later on when it's on the exchanges, but why wouldn't you want to have a node that mints the coin? Uh, and, and that's the token that validates all transactions in the Atleta blockchain and validates earnings and daily rewards. So 
The Atlet coin is a native layer one coin minted by founder nodes. Now, layer one coins, all, all, all the ones that, that have been successfully launched to my knowledge are in the top 100 on coin market cap. So we're, we're looking at a top 100, if not a top 10 coin here. So, you know, in the beginning, you're, you're just getting the coins for owning the nodes. They could go up in value, you know, hundreds of times. And we'll tell a story about that in a little bit. The total supply of Atlita coins is generated by these nodes. Founders packs provide ownership of founders nodes responsible for minting Atla coins. And the nodes also validate Atlita blockchain transactions and earn rewards for their work. Join by April 1st and participate in the data storage rewards as well. If you get in before April 1st, you also get to participate in the data storage rewards, which they're setting up this blockchain. They've got to have those wallets, those people involved, those founders involved before they go to the next step. So they can't go. If you get in on April 2nd, you're not going to get the uh, storage rewards. You'll get all the other rewards, but the storage rewards could add up to something quite substantial over a lifetime because all the NFTs that are going to be stored on that blockchain, think about it, all the data, athletes' data, that, that's huge. Okay. So there's six tiers of founders packs ranging from 500 to 100,000. Each tier offers unique benefits and increases the number of nodes owned. And the Academy Pack inclusion. Each pack includes a hundred uh, USDT contribution to the Blockchain Sports Academy in Brazil, aimed at supporting and nurturing young talent. So you you can't not do the hundred and just jump into a Founders Pack. You got to do the hundred. So benefits of blockchain. There's two halves to this. That's what we're trying to demonstrate in this PowerPoint. The first half is the Web three blockchain it earns daily rewards it validates transactions from the blockchain you earn fees from data storage and you mint the atla coin those are all benefits for owning a node people say why should i have a node that's why but the other benefit of getting in as a founder is you earn quarterly royalties from the nft marketplace revenue player transfers to clubs Revenue shares from football clubs, sports science, and health tech, tech R&D, gaming platforms, reality shows, live events, and sponsorships. Everything sports, you're earning off everything that that uh, used to just go to the owners of these clubs. Guys, this is huge. So what is a node? We talked about it, but nodes play a crucial role in the operation and security of blockchain systems. They are responsible for various tasks, including the creation, transmission, and validating of transactions, as well as the minting or mining of new tokens. Now, we already had that page. So we'll jump right into this. The Academy pack is 100 bucks. What that allows you to do is, is it allows you to earn re rewards for sharing this with other people. We'll say all you've got is 100 USDT. That'll allow you to get rewards for sharing this with other people. So you can build a team and uh, those rewards add up quite quickly. Then you can buy yourself a founder's pack. But this is where you want to start a founder's pack because you get a node. So, and, and each one of these builds more benefits as you get to the larger packages, you get more and more benefits. So, the, the main thing is to have a node, but there's other benefits that slightly increase your potential rewards by going up and up. So what, what you get for the Founders Pack is 500 bucks. There's 400,000 of them. When they're sold out, they're sold out. So you get the revenue from all NFT sales on the platform and commissions from secondary sales, which is part of the NFT marketplace and scouting platform. A uh, one node in token minting. So you own a founder's noid, node and mint alt atla coins. And you get 2% right out of the gate on everyone you sponsor. 10 generations deep. So, you know, you, you've got someone that sponsors someone that sponsors someone that sponsors someone. You're still making 2% 10 generations. 
qualifications uh, are based, uh, the bigger your team, the more level steep you get paid. Okay. The next one is a founder's pack. 2000, uh, it's a 2000 or 2100 because you got to, you know, it's always 2100. There's only 100,000 of them. They're going to be gone before August 16th. That also on top of everything else, allows uh, player transfer royalties. So royalties from the footballers' contracts. So if you can do the 2000, do it because that could be quite huge, the royalties from the footballers' contracts. See? You don't have that here. You, you get the revenue from all NFT sales on the platform and commission from secondary sales, plus your node and token minting. But uh, this one... You know, you get four nodes. Instead of one node, you get four nodes. You also get 3% instead of 2%, 10 generations deep in the pay plan if you're if you're building a team. Now, a lot of guys just come here. They say, I don't want to recruit anyone. And that's perfectly fine because the big lifetime residual income is in having the nodes and uh, also in the royalties from the players. So I would definitely, if you want those royalties from the players, and you're in at 500, upgrade to 2,000. And then four nodes minting is better than one node minting. So you mint, mint the Atla coin and also earn daily as a validator node. See, there's fees for you know running a node that, that you're earning. Okay, the Founders Pack, the 8,000. This is really the sweet spot because it locks you in at the highest pay level, 4%. If you're a builder, 4%, 10 generations deep. But then you also get 16 nodes in token mining, which is way better than four nodes. 16 nodes. This is the biggest jump, right? There's 16 nodes. And uh, then you get the royalties from the NFT marketplace like you did in the others. And the, the royalties from players' contracts, you know, the player transfer. But in addition to all that, you get royalties from the blockchain sports franchise clubs. Now, I don't know how long that'll be or big that'll be. I don't know how long it'll take for that, you know, stream income to kick in, but it's going to be added on top. So if you can do the 8,000, you do it. And the neat thing is, we'll say you came in at 2,000. You only pay the difference. You only pay the difference of 6,000 USDT. You know, there's no penalty, no no anything. As long as you're coming in before April 1st, it, it's exactly 8,000 USDT. If you've already got a 2,000 USDT, you just add 6,000, you just pay the difference and, and you're there. No penalty, no nothing. It's it's uh, sweet. Okay, the next, and, and let me back up. There's only 25,000 of these, you know, $8,000 founders packs. When they're sold out, they're sold out. And, and we'll show you where, where we're at. You know, we're two weeks into this. It just opened up two weeks ago. You're in the first two weeks, guys, of this thing. And uh, so it's not too late. Okay, so the 25K pack, there's only 8,000 of those. And so in addition to everything else we talked about, you also get royalties from performance technology, the sports science and health tech. Now, Tomorrow morning, you're, you're going to be listening. If you get up early, you're going to be listening to the doctor that's uh, representing the health tech that I was talking about that he was hit up by the NFL. They wanted this technology, and uh, he decided to bring it here instead. Okay, the Founders Pack, uh, the 50K Founders Pack. So... If you're at the 25K and, and you got an extra 25K, I would definitely go to the 50K. There's only 4,000 of them. They'll probably be sold out very quickly because only 4,000. And in addition to everything else we talked about, you also add the technology and R&D, the royalties from all technology, including virtual reality system, AI systems, and more, which that could be absolutely mind-boggling how big uh, you know and on the web three side you're earning daily from transaction fees between networks but you, you also you, you got that uh let's see the twenty-five thousand you're in daily from all dap wallet fees earn daily from blockchain explorer and uh, then we're gonna move forward yeah you, you add the bridge fees 
you know, where you're uh, swapping uh, from one network to another network. We'll, we'll say you got some NFTs on the Ethereum network and you want to swap them over a bridge to the uh, uh, Atleta network. See, there's fees on that bridging. And uh, so you can earn transaction fees between networks. Or maybe you want to swap the Atleta tokens from uh, the Alita network over to the block, uh, Bitcoin network. You can do that. Bitcoin is hosting NFTs and, you know, it's a layer one solution also. Okay. And the big kahuna. This is the biggest one, guys. So this is biggest to get 100K. Now, you might not have 100K, but I guarantee you, you got friends that have 100K. There's a lot of people looking for a good investment because... It's hard to find a good, you know, and not investment. This is a contribution here, but, you know, you put your money into things and they just don't pan out. You know, the stock market has crashes. You lose everything. People are looking for something where they they can hit a home run. People are looking for a home run. And uh, that's what, what you can do with this 100K Founders Pack. And you can buy more than one of them. Uh, it's the biggest one, but if you want to buy two or three or four, go ahead and do it. Uh, because in addition to everything else, it it, it adds uh, gaming, reality show, live events, and sponsorships. And uh, you also get to earn on the Web3 side, uh, the DEX side, you get to earn daily from exchange fees and DeFi projects. So they're they're coming out in the future with their own decentralized exchange that probably won't be, you know, right away. It's going to take some time to get that up and rolling, but owning part of an exchange is huge. And you get that for the hundred K uh, plus down here at the bottom, you're getting 200 nodes and token money. So that's, that's the most nodes you can get 200 right there for a hundred K. And, uh, you know what? I am going to look at something here. I'm going to pull something over. This is uh, somebody's site here they let me use. And um, there's a place where you can see a purchase. There it is. Learn more. Okay. And we'll see how those are, how many of them there are left. Founders Pack 6. Uh, doggone it. I thought it was showing that there was a place on there that would show how many were left. Let's see. Okay, we're going to hit learn more up there. Whoops. If I can get this thing to work. Okay. Bonus. Okay, so you get a bonus of 187,500 ATLA tokens. There's a 1,000, 1.92 packs left. So not a lot of those have sold, but we're only in this two weeks. Founders pack five, there's 3,000, uh, 3.9 uh, founders five packs left. That's the 50,000 to four. There's uh, 7, 000, only 7,000 of those left. Founders Pack 3, 23,000 of those left. Founders Pack 2, uh, 96,000 out of 100,000. Founders Pack 1, 389,000. So they're selling. And uh, if, if we sold that many of them in two weeks, uh, you know, by August, uh, I'd say by the end of the month, a lot of these larger packs are going to be gone. Anyway, uh, with that said, let me get back to this. And we're going to move on. Okay, this is, those are the packs right there. And, and uh, those are the benefits. We got to move on. But I want to say this. It's an easy transition. All you do is pay the difference between the 500 and 2,000. So that'd be 1,500 USDT to move up from one node to four nodes. And, and uh, royalties and, and an extra percent on the rewards plan. You only pay the difference between 2,000 and 8,000 to move up the 16 nodes, so on and so forth. Also, 
the Founders Pack's prices will increase by 10% every month. And, and it gets bigger than that, guys. Uh, I'm going to tell you a story in just a second. Uh, the referral rewards plan. <laughs> There's a founder's rebate bonus, 10-level, unilevel, uh, breakage pool bonus. You know, And get this, if you do build a team, this is more of a reward. Maybe, maybe you can only come in at the 500 the founders pack one, but you want all those other rewards all the way up to the 100 pack. All you have to do is build a team. And 10% of all future profits are paid out through the unilevel. So you're getting paid through that unilevel. And the more people in the unilevel, the more you're getting paid there. So opportunity for substantial long-term rewards by building blockchain sports. Okay. Two steps to success. Qualify for the rebate bonus. Now, how do you do that? You sponsor two people who bought founders packs and qualify for the founder's rebate. Now, what's a founder's rebate? We'll say you came in with that $100,000 pack. Founder's pack seven or whatever it is, six. So you come in with that $100,000 100, USDT pack. And you, you enroll two people, maybe just the $500 level, founder's pack one. It doesn't matter what level they come in at. They could come in at the hundred thousand. They could come in at the fifty, the twenty-five, the you know, the two thousand, the eight thousand, the five hundred. Anywhere, it doesn't matter. You get two people, and you get your money back. When do you get your money back? Sometimes after uh, the launch, September first. However long it takes to generate it, twenty-five percent of every package sold goes into a trading pool. Uh, that's done by a professional trading organization that was part of the last crowd fund. And as soon as that 25%, 25 uh, uh, percent of the package increases uh, to 400% or four times, then you're paid back, you're rebated, uh, your what, whatever package you came in at. So this is a no brainer because Whatever package you come in at, if you sponsor two people at any level, you get all you get all your money back. You get all your USDT back, and uh, so so that's your two steps to success: qualify for the rebate bonus by sponsoring two people, and unlock your generations and bonus pools. Yeah, you do that by sponsoring two people. Oh my gosh, guys! Yeah, now you don't have to sponsor anyone with this, but but it's silly not to. Because you get your hundred thousand back, you get your fifty thousand back, you get your five hundred back. We'll say you come in at the five hundred pack, you sponsor two people. It don't cost you anything because you'll get your five hundred back. That is stupid simple. Okay. Founders pack rebate bonus. I guess we just talked about this, but when twenty five percent. When the 25% trading pool reaches 400% after September 1st, all qualified founders will receive 100% of their initial purchase back. How do you get qualified? You sponsor two people. That's it. That's it. Just two. And you reclaim 100% of initial founders pack at 400% profits. Why would you not do this when you can get everything back? It takes the risk out. Okay. Bonus pools, 90% of global breakage is distributed equally. So daily payouts from the smart contract. You're, you're, you, you, there's three pools. This uh, rising star pool, that's that's simple. Everyone can do it. You earn one share of the rising star breakage pool with 5,000 in direct referral volume in the first 30 days. So people say, well, when does this run out? It don't run out. It's 30 days after you sign up. When you sign up, you, you get... Uh, you know, one person with an eight thousand dollar package qualify you. Uh, uh, two two people with a two thousand dollar pack and uh, two people with a five hundred dollar package qualify you. Three people with a two thousand dollar founders pack too. I mean, any combination and you get one share. That's easy to do. Now, uh, champions pool. Uh, You earn with team volume and by unlocking generations four through seven. So 
Uh, as soon as you unlock Generation 4, you get one share. Legends Pool, uh, that's, uh, you, you've got to unlock Generation 8 through 10. And uh, Generation 10 will give you a permanent share in the Legend Pool. You know, 10, you, you need 5 million in team volume, which sounds like a lot, but it doesn't take long. You know, if you know two people, they know two people, they know two people, pretty soon you got 5 million in team volume. And uh, you got five permanent shares, which could be huge. Okay, so there's four steps to purchasing your Founders Pack. You create a TronLink wallet using the app or Chrome extension. So the app's a phone app. You can go to tronlink.org and download the app on your phone, or you can do it on your desktop or laptop as a Chrome extension. So you open your Chrome browser and, and you go to tronlink.org and download it. It's easy, easy peasy. You download it. As soon as you got your wallet there, you want to fund your wallet because your wallet is your interface. There's no passwords. There, there's no uh, referral. There, there, there's nothing to log in to blockchain sports, not even your name, not your social, nothing. It's a smart contract, a decentralized smart contract. Your passport to your uh, blockchain sports smart contract is your TronLink wallet. Do not lose your login to your TronLink wallet. So you log into your TronLink wallet and then you connect the blockchain sports with your TronLink wallet. That's it, just your TronLink wallet. You, there's no login to blockchain sports. So you transfer USDT on the Tron network, that's TRC20 to your Tron wallet for the chosen package, the exact amount. So if, if you're getting the $2,100 package, you transfer 2,100 USDT. And then you're going to need a minimum of 200 Tron for gas fees, for the blockchain fees. The system won't let you do it. Even though you're only going to use maybe uh, 20 Tron, you got to have 200 Tron. Tron's only, I think, today 13 cents a Tron. So it won't break the bank, you know, uh, a couple 20s. Okay, so you got to have 200 Tron in your wallet for the blockchain fees in addition to your USDT. And then you access the referral link via Tron Link app or, or Chrome to join, which whoever invited you here will give you a referral link. If you were in, in the last crowdfund, then you just go to IamLimitless.io because you'll automatically be placed in the same ge genealogy as your sponsor. Okay, with that, I want to bring up one more thing here, and uh, I'm, I'm going to talk about a little story here. Well, actually, I'm going to see if Mo's on here, and I'm going to have him tell the story. Mo, are you there? Hello, Mo. Okay. Well, everybody seems to be muted out. Um, let me uh, let me ask him to unmute. Oh no, I can't. He's only on here as uh, with a uh, microphone. Got it. Okay, he must be on a on a phone. Let's see. Let me make everybody uh, co-host. I should have done that already. Yes, David, my co-host. Yes. Okay, everybody's a co-host now, so that might help. Well, doggone it. Well, if we can't get Mo, I'm going to tell Mo's story because uh, I know the same guy he knows. And uh, he told this story two weeks ago, and it was so powerful that uh, absolutely, you know, people people were people could relate to it. So let me share my screen one more time here. Share his screen. Okay, so in uh, 2020, I believe it was 2020, let's go all the time here, uh, a gaming token gala uh, sold 50,000 nodes. So just, just like you can buy nodes uh, for the Atla token or the Atlita token, you could buy nodes for the gala token and it was just a gaming token nobody thought and that that's was uh september of 2020 
they were selling those nodes and I believe they were marketing them for uh, uh, for 500 a piece and then they went to a thousand dollars a piece but anyway uh, this guy we know told us about it Mo said no <laughs> he didn't get in uh, and uh, he went ahead and bought two gala nodes I believe for a thousand bucks and uh you know going on for fast forward uh, to uh november of 2021 so we started out in 2020 uh september of 2020 so about a year and a month later the token hit an all-time high <clears throat> of 90 cents well, actually, uh, that's a Canadian. It was about 84 cents U.S. And uh, so uh, right, right there, all-time high, yeah, Canadian, a dollar fourteen. I guess uh, that's about 80, I think it was 84 cents USD. Anyway, that $1,000, and the nodes went up in value too. Today, I think if you guys saw my email I sent out not too long ago, you can see that currently the nodes are valued at 110,000 a piece, but the node value went up and uh, his nodes had been minting him gala tokens for a year and a month. So he took and he sold out right here. So probably about here at, at about 80 cents for two and a half million bucks. So his five, two $500 nodes were worth two and a half million bucks a year and a month later. Now, I'm not saying that's going to happen with uh, Gala Tokenomics. It's going to have it down here. But anyway, we're going to stop the share. I'm not saying that's going to happen for, you know, everybody that gets a node here, that your node's going to go up by that many thousands of times. But what I am saying is uh, you got to play to win. And it's happened before. There's a historical precedent. Uh, I've owned nodes before and done very well with them. Not that well, but I've done very well. I've done staking uh, with with lots of different tokens back in the old days, going back to 2017, 2016. And I've done pretty well. Uh, some of those I've sold off and, uh, you know, some I haven't. But uh, it, it creates residual income, guys. And it's a lifetime residual. As long as the blockchain's there, those coins are there. So with that said, we're going to open it up for question and answers. And uh, guys, if you want to raise your hand. Oh, and, and the last thing. I'm going to share my screen one more time, David. And then we'll open up for question and answer. Uh, limitless. How do you get on that call tomorrow morning? The live AMA with the founder of Inner Athlete, Dr. Eric Neptune. Now, I've listened to this guy over and over and over. And this guy's, you know, a certified genius, but he's the one that uh, was approached by the NFL for this technology that, uh, you know, he decided to deliver to blockchain sports. So if the NFL wants to get in on it, they're going to have to join blockchain sports on down the road. But you can listen to Dr. Eric Neptune. You just go to imlimitless.io, even if you're not a member. And people say, well, there's no link here for that. Yeah, yeah, there is. You just click right here on where it says imlimitless.io. We had a lot of people last week, whoops, yeah, last week that couldn't figure that out. So they were calling me up and you click on it. It takes you to a different link, see? That's for the Zoom meeting. So I just wanted to make that clear. Uh, what we achieved in such a short period of time, it was phenomenal. And so that's why I'm here today. I know a lot of people, they need to see it, touch it, feel it. Uh, and I understand. But when you've had the experience uh, and you, you've reaped the rewards uh, as far as doing all the due diligence and all of that, it's it may not be as necessary. And that's where I'm at. I can assure you uh, when the leaders behind this, mainly Jeremy Roma, which I know personally very well, uh, the other two I know, but I'm not, I don't have, I wouldn't say I have a close friendship with. But anyway, uh, knowing that 
Jeremy has got his hands on the hem and the other people behind the scene have proved themselves. And I'm referring to the Daisy Project. Uh, it was very successful. Dr. Anna Becker, she was trading on everybody's behalf, mainly Forex, uh, which is still ongoing and will continue to be ongoing. So uh, this is just a situation where everybody that was in DAISY and the uh, organizations that they created, those within their organizations have the opportunity to transition over. And so when it was time to make that step, I didn't even give it a second thought. Uh, I knew as far as David and 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 uh, Troy, it was something, you know, that they didn't have all of the details like I had in all the experience. But, you know, like most leaders, they can spot an opportunity quick, you know, and you take action. That's the heart of a leader. And it's also the heart of most people that are very successful. They say, what's the characteristics of very su successful people? They can spot opportunities very fast and they take action very fast. And so these guys, they were all over it, you know, and as the upline, Mo and myself, we want to be here to give them all the support they need, which of course transition to you. Uh, now, I had the privilege of living in South America for four years. Uh, mainly, most of my time was spent in Medellin, Colombia, Cali, uh, Panama City. And one thing I can assure you is they take, a, I'll say they take three things very serious. One is family. One is their God. And the next one is football, which in the States we call soccer. And when I tell you they take it serious, they take it very serious. And it kind of got my interest to see how they were so into the sport. I began really following, you know, a lot of the players, you know, from all over the world. And then I realized, man, this sport is massive. It's all over the world. I'll tell you how excited they get. Uh, where my wife and I lived in Medellin, we were not too far from the football stadium. And that particular night, they were having a game and it was pouring down rain. I mean, when you looked at the stadium lights, you could barely see the lights because the rain was so heavy. And I think somebody scored. And when that person scored, you heard a roar. I have never heard any roar like that from any sporting event. I was just like in that stadium had a open roof. These people are out there and I'm sure they're drenched, a lot of them. And they're just a roaring and shouting. And that's when I realized, man, these people are totally committed to the sport. And so when they said football as the sport, I'll tell you what happened immediately. I had like three calls from uh, my top leaders and they were like, Carlos, what do you think about this soccer? You know, and one of them is a diehard football fan and, and Troy know who I'm talking about. And he called me and he's like, what are they doing? And he's like, we have the NFL, you know, and the NFL, and the NFL, you know, because he's all NFL. Uh, I was like, what about basketball and baseball, you know, but uh, he's all over the NFL. And I said, OK, I say, look at it this way. And I'm speaking from experience. I've had the privilege to tr do a little traveling. And I realized football is huge. Billions of dollars going into that sport. OK, now. We know that crypto is still young and there are so many people who haven't been introduced to the power of the blockchain and what it can do. So what if you take the biggest sport in the world that the most people get really excited about? OK, it's not just in America, it's all over. And then you couple that with the blockchain. And that's what these guys have done. And they've given us the privilege to be founders, which means 
just look at it like this. I had a friend work for UPS and I used to trade stocks and I was like, uh, I want to buy some stocks in UPS. And he's like, you can't. He said, it's private. It's like, it's private. He said, yeah, it's privately owned. He said, but one day they'll go public and then you'll be able to take advantage of it. And I'm like, I don't want to wait until they go public because I know the stock is probably already appreciated to where there's not much value there. He said, you're right, but it's nothing I can do. So he called me about a year later. We went to church together and he called me and he said, Barlos, I'm a millionaire. And I was like, what do you mean? Uh, you, you, you work for UPS and you make that much money? Because I knew he hadn't been with UPS for like maybe eight years. He said it was the stock. It went public. I went, wow. And so that's exactly where we are. Keep in mind, all of the people who love football, and once they really get an understanding of what we have, what Troy just covered with all the ins and outs and the benefits of this program, and then they're exposed to it, Okay, and we're the founders. Everything that comes in, we're just sitting under it. You know, I'll say this like tr tr to Troy and David because they're fishermen. You know, those big catfish, those big flatheads and blues, a lot of times they'll get what a current is just bringing in, you know, young, small fish. Or, or at their size, some of them weigh so much, they're looking for big fish. And they just sit there and just wait. They're just coming in and they're just feeding off of them. And that's kind of like where we are. We're going to be already set in place. And as the world begin to come in, guess what? There is no other doors open that they can go through. No alternatives, no back doors on the smart contract. They have to come in where all the founders, which are us, will benefit. So I'm going to turn it back to you, Troy. Well, I don't want to follow that. I mean, you know, this is the guy that the first week this went live, he 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 had a million dollars, a million USDT downline, a million dollars in volume, over a million within the first week. Is that correct, Barlos? That's correct. That's correct. So you made all the bonuses. <laughs> most of them <laughs> yeah, except for the five million dollar one but you'll be you'll be it, hitting it, out here shortly yeah hopefully and, and by the way that wallet you showed it doesn't have enough tron in it to withdraw the money they have just sitting there waiting on them whoever that wallet belongs to <laughs> <laughs> you need some tron huh but tell them to add some tron that's... to it so they can get some money out of it because they have some waiting on them that's a safety feature. Say nobody can steal it if you don't have any Tron in there for gas. <laughs> That's a very good point. Yes. <laughs> That's not quite the way it works, folks. But anyway, it was a good, good thought. Um, yeah, those those rewards from uh, growing the team come out every day. And uh you know they're pre they're pretty lucrative as well, uh, but uh, you know that's not the big thing. I mean that'll be gone after a period of time, except for the ten percent of all the rewards coming in from blockchain sports is gonna. I think that's indefinite, isn't it, Barlos? I'm I'm not sure on that. You're saying you're saying at the uh, what what after September first. Uh, the team we built, we're still getting 10% through that, oh, team, aren't we? And definitely, no doubt, no doubt. That's okay. yes, that will be the case. We just can't sign up any new people at that point. There's no more founders packs. Nope, that's when it's open to the public. Yeah, and so then the public will come in and they're going to be buying the NFTs, but we've got the, the Alita token and we've got the blockchain that they're going to be buying all that off of. So that's going to benefit the founders. The more the public interacts and, and uh, uh, gets involved, uh, you know, the more the founders, the node holders earn, you know, and that, that's even if they never sponsored a single person. Am I correct? You can be 100% passive. Totally correct. It's kind of like I've had a couple of experiences where uh, two people that I know launch some very successful projects 
and they both call me in the liquidity phase. Okay, you have to have liquidity to trade a, a token when you first launch a project. And so they said, Barlos, we want you to be one of the individuals that participate in on the liquidity. And that's like where we are right now. Okay, that's where we are. And they said, we'll have like maybe three rounds that we're going to offer the token. And then after the uh, third round, it's going to go to the public. It's going to be on the exchanges. And so I put in my liquidity. Wasn't much. I'll, I'll say it was, I want to say $20,000. And when they launched the token, on the exchanges, I 50X that day. That day, I 50X. Wow, yeah. 50X. Yeah. Holy and, and you were holding it from us, Barlos? Huh? <laughs> you didn't include <laughs> us in that? What? <laughs> that that was my first experience, you know? And, and I had a few people, because this individual say, Barlos, I know you have people that you work with. I can't open it up to too many but I'll open it up to like five of your friends and, and he limit them to $500. And every one of them made over 50,000 uh, in that wow. one day. So yeah, that's kind of like where we are now. It may not be that quick of a, of a movement because these are small tokens, right? And, and if we've been in the crypto space, we know they can move very fast on a small amount of money. But what I see here, it may not be that fast, but it's going to be like a tsunami. It's just going to be a lot coming in over a long period of time. And so that's what I want. I, I'd rather experience that than something that's quick and gone. Because when it's quick and gone, and a lot of you have been in, in spikes and they call them rug pools or whatever you want to call them, where you got to catch that initial spike. And if you don't catch it, you end up losing on the transaction. And I've seen so many people do that, and I've experienced that myself. So I'd much rather it not move up as fast, but stay there, right, for who knows how long. That's what I want to be a part of, and that's what I see with this particular project. And it was no different with Daisy. But I honestly think this is going to be much bigger than Daisy will ever be. Uh, so that's why I'm super excited about it. And you guys have such an awesome team. I mean, Troy and David, they're so respected in the space that we're in. And they always bring the best to the table for their people. And, and I've seen it with my own eyes. You know, I haven't worked with them long, but I mean, I haven't seen anything to make me contradict what I just said. So uh, you guys should feel privileged. Know that Mo will be there. Myself, if if it's something that needs to take place, I can always tap into Jeremy Rome. I have had a couple of Troy people on the phone with with Jeremy because they had uh, a, a situation where one thought their wallet may have gotten hacked and so we have we have resources where we can go all the way to the top if we need to to take care of any situation good or bad so just know that you guys are in a good place and i count it a privilege to be working with you and barlos i count it a privilege to be working with you because uh you you're one of those guys that Kind of quiet, kind of in the background, but you make it happen and you always have the biggest paycheck in every company or in the top 10 paychecks. So that's huge. Uh, we've got some questions in the chat. Dean M says, do the fans have to be familiar with blockchain and purchasing crypto to participate in the blockchain sports after September 1st? So he's talking about after the public launch, the fans that want to participate, do they have to be familiar with crypto? Now, my my answer to that, Troy, would be no. And I say that with excitement because I think that's a good thing. That's how new we are. So really, the, the big question is, are, are we going to get in there and teach people about, about the blockchain so that they can see 
this type of opportunity that's before them and they can embrace it and take full advantage of it. So it's just going to be a matter of getting those people to spend a few minutes on a Zoom or on a call and you have the resources of people, including myself, that will teach them all they need to know about the blockchain. And you know what I noticed, Troy and David, when people really understand the power of what the blockchain can do, they get excited. And people who are really business minded, they're like, well, why don't banks use this? And, you know, corporation is like they are. They're just not saying a lot right now. But I guarantee you in 10 years, everybody will know. And do you want to know about it 10 years down the road or would you be one of the forerunners, the pioneers who have literally brought it to hundreds and thousands of people who have no inkling what it is currently. So I'm excited about where we are. Well, I am too. And thanks for that. Uh, let's see. Chris says, what's the address for Friday's call? Guys, I just went through this. I'm going to do it one more time. <laughs> Chris might've came on late. Okay. So you go to IamLimitless.io, and uh, if you're if you're doing it from the U.S. and you can't get there, it's because you need to turn a VPN on uh, to set it to anywhere outside the U.S. Uh, to get to IamLimitless.io. But otherwise, you go there and you click this link, and it'll take you to the this link. So I'm just going to put this link in the chat for the guys that don't want to go through all that, and. Uh, you know, but make sure you're there on time because it's at uh, 2.15 p.m. UTC. So uh, let's see, convert, C-O-N-B-E-R-T, UTC to Eastern Time, E-D-T. Okay. Subtract four hours from UT. So 2.15 would be... Uh, let's see, that'd be 115. 1015, isn't it? 1015. There you go. Coordinate 212 AM UTC is 1012. Okay. UTC to EDT converted. We'll just do this. 215. 215 PM. That's AM 215 PM. That's 230. Okay, so we'll we'll just do two. So two. Whoops. It would be 10, 12 uh, Eastern. Yeah, 10, 10, 12 Eastern. So now I'm going to put that in the chat. Uh, paste. 10, 15. Troy, while you're doing that, I want to say this real quick. If you're ever trying to log on to uh, Daisy's website or Limitless website and you don't have on a VPN and you turn it on and you try to re-log in, chances are you may not get in. You have to clear your cookies. And some of you may have already experienced that. Uh, but clear your cookies and then try again and you shouldn't have a problem. So just know that if you put your VPN on and you still get that, get that 404 message of whatever it is, uh, just clear your cookies and you don't have to clear them. If you just did it, just clear it for like the last seven minutes because a lot of you don't want to get rid of all your cookies. But make sure you go back far enough uh, to the time that you you logged in, uh, attempted to log in. Hey, Troy, we're uh, almost 15 minutes past the hour. Oh, well, wrap us up. I don't see any more questions. No hands up. I think uh, he, between you and Barlos, uh, we got it all answered. And I'll, I'll I'll splice these two halves of the recording together because <laughs> I I broke it, and I'll email it out here probably in the morning. <laughs> well, we made a joke of you when you uh, fell off the uh, the Zoom there. <laughs> Troy is horrible with technology. <laughs> <laughs> well, they call me the high tech redneck, and uh, there's more red yeah. than high tech. <laughs> yeah. um, folks, well, you heard it all, and you know what? You, 
you know, blockchain technology, Web3, the new internet is here and it's going to be here and more powerful and powerful. So, you know, if, if you didn't get involved and earn money from the first internet or the second internet, well, here you are at the third internet, which is blockchain technology and AI uh, driven things. Um, and now that you add sports on top of that, and not only that, but copyrighted sports where no one else can have that sports blockchain like here at Limitless, uh, it's it's a winning combination. If, you know, we've been in other opportunities and we've seen a lot of opportunities like Mo, I mean, Barlow's has also said, you know, if they come, they go, sometimes we get lucky and, you know, they last for a while. Sometimes, you know, we just hope for 90 days or something like this, but if you understand a node position, just think about this. If you would have gotten a node positions back in 2017 on the Binance Smart Chain, okay, and let's say that you were able to earn, and I'm, I'm, I'm just giving you some just quick numbers, but let's say you were able to earn one BNB a day, okay, without the new technology, without having to have a miner spend electricity or anything, this is a node that sits on a blockchain that just does the validation and gives you rewards. And you were earning one BNB a day, okay? At that time, you probably go, oh, BNB was only, what, 10 cents? Oh, that's not a whole lot, right? Look at how much BNB is today. And I'll leave it like that. Good night, everyone. We'll see you guys next Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern. All right, everybody.